we're here with Amanda Lynch, um, who's just started the new Artists Network for Correspondence Collective. Um, and Amanda's been working um, with us on a exhibition, um, which is happening at the, the end of this month on the 23rd. Um, and well, I'll hand over to you, Amanda. You, you explain what the, the collective is and, and what's, what's kind of happening in the upcoming exhibition. Yeah, so um, thank you, first of all, to Debbie for hosting the exhibition. Um, very thankful to you for that. So the exhibition dates are the 23rd of March to the 6th of April. And the collective was started um, sort of this time last year, really, as a um, starting point to keep me going with making postal art and sending it to a friend. And that just gradually evolved and more people have become interested. And then the exhibition was born. Um, so it's predominantly around um, mail art and then the letter press drawers were to highlight our current restrictions and we can all relate to how that's affected us. So giving each person a tiny compartment to work within just to highlight our current situation. We've got uh, one of the participants. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> hi Daniel, welcome. Hi, um, hi nice to meet you. So welcome to you. So Daniel's been one of yeah, and and so so Daniel's been one of the participants of the exhibition, um, and so there was we had an open call, uh, didn't we, Amanda? In that was open in February for people to sort of apply, um, and and that was how you got in in touch with the call, Daniel, and and so you're an emerging uh, performance artist. Yes, that's right. Um, I am a, a performance artist. Uh, who is working with video and, and with my ideas, something a little bit crazy ideas. Um, and I was really interested in of, of the with the with the event and the and the open call because I was I thought it was such a good like uh, opportunity to like show my my skills somehow. And I was like because I, I have this idea, you know, like with the miniatures and so or with the small paintings, and I was like, oh let's do this and and yeah, yeah, yeah. Amanda, do you just want to explain how the open call um, sort of worked, how people applied, um, the, the sort of audience that you were hoping to attract as part of the call? And then and then we've got um, a video piece from Daniel, which we're going to sort of share and, and introduce you to, to sort of how the exhibition is going to look. Yeah, so um, thanks, Debbie. So the exhibition open call, it all went online. Um, so you could apply through platforms such as Curator Space, um, Arts Council newsletter highlighted it, as well as direct email through the website. And there was a lot of contact with people on social media as well. So people uh, found the open call uh, via our website. They sent uh, an expression of interest first of an idea what they'd like to do with regards to the exhibition and how their work could fit into the letterpress drawers. And from that, people uh, were then allocated certain spaces within that. That was the only restriction of this exhibition. You had to fit into these compartments. <laughs> um, and from then, once the artwork is made, um, people then send all of their artwork in the post to Debbie and that then gradually gets placed into the compartments within the letterpress drawers. So it's an exciting postal movement. <laughs> So today um, is the, the final day for the work to arrive. Um, so we've just we've been having a, a big haul of posts this week. Um, and uh, yeah, Daniel's work arrived with us um, about a week ago now. Um, and I sort of opened it up and put it into the, uh, the, the trays. And in the back of one piece, you'd included a little um, USB, hadn't you, Daniel? Yes. Um... Yeah, I put I put in because I have this idea, you know, like uh, uh, because nowadays we have so much technology, and even with the memory stick, can be so 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 little. So I think maybe we can put like into the painting, and then like a kind of make it bigger the the limitations or the restrictions, you know, because of the spaces. So I was like, yeah, and the, that's what I thought. So what we've got. Um... So on the memory stick, uh, you'd sent along, you've, you've made a sort of five minute video, um, which has been based around you um, traveling around, you're, you're based in London. So you've been traveling around and installing artwork in different spaces and photographing those. Do you want to just explain a little bit more about the process of that before we show the video? Yeah, sure. Um, so 
for, for me, the most important thing, first of all, is the images, like the sources of the images, and from that, from that work and create the, docu the documentations. So, um, yeah, as you, as you can see in the, in the video, I need to extract the images from, from the sources. So in this, in this chance, I extracted from Google Maps. Um, and, and, I, and I found really interesting um, um, chance because in Google Maps, they show you like, like the, which is what's happening like one year ago or something like that. And you can see how the, the streets are completely empty. So uh, I thought it was great to show them, show them as well this, this past and as well the, the, car, the current situations. So I extract the images from them. I paint like around uh, four, uh, four pieces, three pieces uh, in, in good with oil paintings. And from this uh, 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 wooden boards, I extract a little bit, a piece of, of the painting. And that little painting was really significant because it was talking about restrictions concept because some of them are really sim symbolic, symbolic. And um, so what I did is I, I take, wh what I'm doing lately, um, I went outside with my bike, sometimes I'm going walking and I'm going to these places where I, where I stole the image and I stack the image. It's kind of like a giving what they, they gave me. And they, they, I have this chance to like uh, uh, go there and, and explore the city and and see what's going on there um so yeah and and what, what the, which is more important for me is the documentation where i extract from from the the performance rather than the painting the painting is became something like a tool something like i use as a part of my of of my mission because i have a mission once i have a painting i have a mission to put them back um and yeah i'm from from all of this experience i'm creating like the the documentation i'm taking a photograph i'm taking the video um yeah and it's really interesting as well because sometimes people stole the paintings because sometimes i used to come back to the places and the people stole my paintings or or they they put names uh, i used to do as well like kind of uh paintings from graffitis the people who do graffitis i'm i'm putting my my paintings of the graffitis in the same place i don't know if you got it um, and they were saying like, a, like a, that's mine now, you know? And it's really interesting how uh, this painting uh, is like a space where people can interact rather than interacting the, in the real place, they interact inside of the painting. And it's, it's amazing, you know, it's like, yeah, so that's what I'm doing basically. I mean, I, I, I was really moved after, after sort of seeing the piece. So I think what we'll, what we'll do is I'll, I'll just share my screen. We've got the video here, um, so it's about five minutes long. Um, so I'll share that and then I'll, I'll bring over the work that's sort of arrived here so you can see it and how it sort of um, fits in situ.
Daniel, it was, I really enjoyed your video. Um, I found it really funny because halfway through, I thought, my goodness, I really recognize this place. And in Ealing, it's where partly where I grew up. <laughs> um, and that I was like, this is a bit strange. I thought I really recognize that road. And actually, oh my goodness, South Ealing Station, that's where I was. <laughs> um, so very strange coincidence. Um, how, how did you get into that world? way of um working uh, yes uh, I, I when i when i i wrote your message it was really funny for me as well and so much coincidences no that that you were actually growing up here and how i'm still working with this uh well because i uh in the in the in the first lockdown i have so much time and i have this idea before but i didn't have en enough time to do it because it's actually I have to paint, I have to go to the places, I, I need to look for images. So that takes me a lot of time and I was working, so I couldn't I couldn't do it before. But during the, the lockdown, um, I have this this time, so I was like, let's do it. Um, um, yeah, I, um, I'm working with a sense of, of kind of philosophical uh, uh, sources that allow me to kind of go to this, get to this point, to this idea 
of the 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 this this concept of, of essence. So I was kind of working with that and how a painting can, uh, which is a lie, is uh, so um, kind of manifests the the place where where the painting are. For example, like when I when you put the painting, you realize about the place. So it's kind of like a, a I don't know really philosophical. So yeah, uh, um, in the beginning I was I didn't I didn't do anything with the video. So I, I used to just go to the place without without film anything. I just used to put the paintings in the place and take the pictures, but that's it. But I thought it would be great if people could watch what I'm doing. It's kind of like relational relational art. So people could, could go involved and feel like they are doing with me. But sometimes when I'm wearing the camera with myself and, and thinking with the people who is watching it, my, my followers and my people. So it's like, uh, I'm trying to, you know, um, you know, share the experience with them. I and so yeah, I like I like to, you know, like uh, bring it all together. If I could put all of these people in my in my bicycle and ride ride in somewhere, I will do it. But I cannot, so I, I'm doing with my camera. Yeah, and, and just to say, so here's your piece here. Here it is at Clay Hill. Just thinking that's the best representation is the bike, um, and just that the the video piece on the back came from from this here. So just Amanda, um, obviously this is sort of labelled with kind of tray numbers and, and that sort of thing. Do you want to kind of talk a bit about how how you've been sort of curating the exhibition sort of from a distance? Because obviously you're you're based in London and you're isolating and things there, um, and we're here in Somerset. So um, how's how's that all been? Yeah. So normally I would be in Somerset, but because of restrictions and things um i'm in london uh, because of shielding and all that stuff so working remotely has been very odd <laughs> it's been challenging obviously um you know not being able to physically be there um so what i came up with was an allocation system so when the applications came in what which was an amazing response um with the exhibition there was over 300 people applied we've got 200 artists involved and there's 90% of those artists are either from an emerging um, or disabled background or both and that is phenomenal I couldn't ask for a better representation of up-and-coming artists I'm really pleased with that so with regards to people being allocated their space I devised this plan um, so what I've done is when going through the applications I tried to curate as best as I could not seeing the finalized work of so I'm working predominantly with ideas so I had to choose quite carefully where people were placed. And obviously the spaces are very small and I appreciate for some people that was quite a challenge to really scale down their work. So someone may have, um, they might be in tray one with a space and then they may be in tray three with a space. And that's really just to break up the work um, so it can flow better. And also it then can be you know, it might be emerging artist in the same draw as a professional artist, as a disabled artist, and everyone and everyone in between that. And that has been the best bit, being able to put everyone together. We're all in this restrictive COVID environment together. And it's been a really great way to represent what we're all going through at the moment. And I really hope everyone that's taken part has enjoyed it. <laughs> and whether the making tiny, tiny work has been a challenge has also brought some really positive challenges with that. Um, Daniel, how um, how did you find working so small? Um, I did look at your work, obviously, when you applied, um, but was that more of a challenge? Um, obviously, the video, I think, gave a really, really great context to the work, and it definitely felt like I was on the journey with you, and I really enjoyed the video, and I think the the segments of your paintings just just added to that. So if you don't mind saying how you, how you found the experience. Thank you so much for for these amazing comments. For me, it's, it's really like a it's air, you know. Um, uh, it was challenging, of course, because I, I have to thinking um, uh, what which kind of 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 paintings uh, should I do, right? Because as you saw in the in the video, I'm taking a little part of the whole painting. So you actually in the exhibition you have like a small a small piece of that. So it's a small piece of of something which is really small 
in addition. So I have to, for, um, the most important for me was the image. So from the image, I could work with, with that and like, uh, like create this small piece of painting. Um, I'm kind of used to it to painting really small because my paintings are really kind kind of like a kind of small. Um, but this one was really small, so I have to take so much time. I was working one day non stop painting and with these little pieces, and I couldn't believe it because it's just they are really small, but they take you so much time to create these small details and create like the, the colors and all. Um, but yeah, it was it was really nice. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. And, and I hope I really like that you enjoy it as well. I don't know what you will think about it, but yeah, that's great. Another thing to mention is because I'm obviously in London, I haven't physically seen any of the work. Um, I have been very fortunate that I have been able to collaborate with some artists within the show. So um, a little piece of me from London is being back, taken back to Somerset. Um, but that's an also a strange concept because I'm only seeing people's proposals, images of work that they've previously made. So I haven't seen their restrictive pieces. Um, so I'm just as excited as everyone else to see the, you know, the live stream that we're having on the 23rd of March. So that'll be showcasing everyone's work and we'll be um, highlighting some artists on the day that will be recorded. So you'll be able to go back and, and review the video as well. Um, from the 23rd of March to 6th of April, every other day we have an artist talk. Um, so details coming soon um, for people to sign up, but everything is free. And that was really important. So the open call was free. All the events are free. And that was something I really wanted to stress with this exhibition that to make it as inclusive as possible. So I hope everyone that you know has taken part so far has, has found that <laughs> with the exhibition. Um, and yet yeah, I am I'm really enjoying creating it, something that's relatively new to me. Um, but yeah, hopefully on the 23rd, we'll be able to see everyone's work together in a restrictive sense. <laughs> um, but Daniel, I think another thing that I am quite interested about with your work is that obviously you've placed your paintings in the locations that you painted and then removed the segment. I wonder what people think about the missing part. Um, I wonder where they think that puzzle piece has gone, if you have any thoughts on that. Yeah, I, I would like to as well uh, um, hear what people will think about the, the missing part that you're saying. Um, in this in this chance, I <clears throat> I didn't put any because normally I put QR codes, you know, this code that you can you can scan. I used to put in my paintings so people could sometimes send me message about my paintings because they 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 did before, but I didn't do it in this time. So I never, we never know, no, no, I want to know what what they think about the, the the missing part there, which is shame, because it would be amazing if people will actually realize. But but I don't know. I didn't want to like get dirty the, the painting with the coal this time. Um, but I don't know. I think they they will think that I don't know. It's nice, no, because it's kind of open. So they will thinking crazy things and like I don't know. Is you know indeed even the painting when you find like a like a painting a wooden painting in the street, you will think in something like I don't know extraordinary like kind of surrealistic. Who who did that? You know who is spending his time doing this kind of stuff? So yeah, and I think um, obviously Clay Hill's event today is all about the physical and digital aspects of of work, and I think your work really hits on that. <laughs> oh, she's back. <laughs> Debbie, can I'm you hear back. Me? Yeah. No, I just thought that uh, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. We can see you as well now. I, I thought that landed. I thought that landed at the perfect moment. Sort of talking about physical and digital, and how yeah. we're all experiencing a bit of um, digital interference at the moment. Um, but I realised my my camera went when I was just trying to show this. So just the um, so it was one of the pieces that was cut out of the painting. So I thought it might be nice for you to see it in situ, Daniel. Um, and and that's that's the yeah the memory stick tiny memory stick which um, um sort of ha has has kept the uh, the images and the film work there as well. I was just going to show um, a a sort of example. So the so this is one of the. Take those 
So this is, a, a, I can't sort of tip it too much. Can you see that? Yep, I can see that, yeah. You can see it, yeah. So this is just, yeah. to, show, just to yeah, just to show you one of the, one of the trays. So this is how the, how the spaces have been allocated. So these have all been numbered. So that's right, isn't it, Amanda? Yes, every single compartment has been numbered across 10 trays. So I believe there's a thousand, over a thousand spaces. So I had my work cut out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then there was a, a sort of another one of your pieces there, Daniel, um, that sort of arrived. So yeah. again, I thought it might be nice for you to just see them having sort of chopped out of the painting. So, and this one seems very appropriate for now in, as well in terms of so much kind of closing. And I just felt that the piece was um, a, a really brilliant kind of document of this time, not only um, of the, you know, the, the restrictive kind of nature, but just the other kind of social commentary that you you were sort of doing through the piece so um yeah it was an excellent piece of work so i was um i, I ha actually haven't stopped thinking about it since seeing it so um yeah so so well done <laughs> um and um yes yeah, so I'm, I'm sorry i delayed a bit so you've probably been talking about things that i, I kind of want to ask now and um as well but um yeah we've had the rest of the uh, the artwork sort of arrive here today um, I think there's a few other international pieces arriving over the weekend and, and possibly Monday, but that should be all the work here at Clay Hill now. Um, and then we're going to be um, sort of opening that and doing some more reveals and things next week, um, sort of leading up to the exhibition. And then um, I think you were detailing already, Amanda, that um, there's going to be the, the sort of live stream, which we're... Um, we're getting some digital help from uh, Somerset Film, who are based in Bridgewater. They're going to be helping us with the, the recording of the live stream there. Um, and then, that, yeah, the series of sort of artist talks. Um, and we, um, we're doing a, a workshop with um, Dizzy Inc. as well, who are going to be doing a, a sort of zine making. But, um, yeah, all of, the, um, all of the details will be up uh, online soon. <laughs> yeah, so, and, and Amanda, f for you... Um, like sort of say i mean we've been meeting up sort of weekly to kind of go through um go through the exhibition uh on a, on a sort of zoom and allocating spaces and that kind of thing and you know i feel like i've got the the better end of the deal in terms of sort of experiencing all this this lovely work in a kind of physical sense but how, how's that sort of been for you kind of doing all that from a distance it's been surprisingly very very enjoyable i thought i'd feel challenged um with all with the sheer amount of allocations i mean i can't say enough that i was absolutely blown away about with the response to this exhibition i honestly don't think it's sunk in quite yet <laughs> um but it was really enjoyable um to allocate people but it's really also quite strange because as i mentioned earlier i'm just seeing people's proposals and maybe um for instance it may be a printmaker that's applied but they want to submit a small sculpture and I have no way of predicting how that's going to look. So I'm kind of leading this blind, but I'm also extremely excited because I'm going to be seeing what everyone else sees on the 23rd. Um, so it's going to be like Christmas for me. <laughs> um, yeah, extremely enjoyable. I couldn't do it without you, Debbie. So hats off to you. Um, massively appreciate all of your help. And even though we can only meet via Zoom, I think that's been from a creation point of view, um, it's been really thrilling and seeing the different pieces, how they come together. Again, out of my sheer you know, determination to try and predict who will mirror who quite well. Um, yeah, it's been really, really fun and enjoyable, but I'm, yeah, I'm excited to see it all coming together myself. The network itself, you were wanting obviously to sort of promote an, a, a new network and connection and that sort of thing, which again, this this sort of platform has all been about um, sort of today. And I know you've already been talking about how there have been artists already kind of collaborating off the back of being involved in in uh, the exhibition as well. So from the back of this, I mean, I've, there's a waiting list of over 100 people who are extremely eager to get into the exhibition. Um, so people have been buddying up with one another. It turns out people, you know, via Instagram predominantly, they know one another that's applied. They didn't realise their friend had applied. So, um, you know, some mail arts come out of that and new connections have been made. And that was a really important thing. We're all stuck at home at the moment. Um, and art for me is a real lifeline. And that was something I wanted to pass on. 
to keep people connected in the time we can't physically connect. So sending art in the mail um, and adding to that and having a visual conversation is really freeing. Um, and people seem to be doing really well from that. I mean, I'm getting messages from people saying, oh, if we send something to you, can you send it to this person? And, you know, people coming together saying, oh, you know, I had a few friends, we all worked together for, our, for my submission for the exhibition. So I have rough numbers, but it's probably a lot more than that <laughs> with all the collaborations that's happened. And that's been fantastic. And this is just the very beginning of the network for you as well, isn't it? You've got lots more kind of ideas about what you want to be doing. And um, Daniel, have you connected with any any new artists sort of through being involved with the Open Call as well? Uh, no, not yet. Um, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm working, uh, I'm trying to like get involved in, in kind of Spain as well with my, with my performances. Um, but this is kind of new because I'm start doing this like uh, last year. So for me, it's a beginning because I'm learning as well how to uh, show this performance because uh, I didn't know how to show them. And I didn't know if it works. I didn't know as well um, how to show them, how to extract the best part of it. Because as, as I told to Amanda before, I didn't even in the beginning, I, 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 I didn't used to film my performances. So for me, it's everything new. So um, I don't feel more, I don't feel like kind of confidence to show them something which is not uh, finished yet. So I think this is the beginning of, 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 a, of a big project that I want to develop uh, uh, through my time. Um, so so this, this uh, exhibition and this uh, event is for me is amazing. I feel really grateful for, for everything and for your work as well, because it's a great idea. Um, so yeah, that's it. Well, I think that's probably a really nice place to, to sort of finish. Unless there's anybody else that's got any sort of final questions here before we um, kind of wrap up. But um, we'll be um, sort of speaking with Amanda on multiple occasions over the next sort of few weeks uh, in the build up. I think we're going to do a few Instagram lives and things together. Um, there's a behind the scenes video, which is in the expo area at the moment. So you can have a look at how that's all been put together. Um, please share that around. Um, it all really helps kind of getting um, eyes on the project and that kind of thing. Um, and then, and yeah, if you're not connected yet, then um, follow everything over on the Correspondence Collective. Um, and, and yeah, start following what Daniel's up to as well, because this is just the beginning for him too. Um, so thank you both so much for coming um, and taking part today. Um, and and yeah, and, and Daniel, good luck with, with your practice. There's already some really exciting things happening. So um, we'll be keeping an eye on what you're doing. Um, and Amanda, I will see you next week yeah, for our, our you, weekly David. catch up. Um, and, uh, um, and yeah, and what's got happening next. Okay. Thank Brilliant. Thank well, you so thank much. you both. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely. Okay. Bye.